Okay, so the last, this is the last piece before singular value decomposition, right? The excitement builds, um, and it's always building, but you know, try not to explode. Just one, one more, one more little bit here. So this is uh, somehow, right? Here's an equation for ellipse that we'll, we want to understand, uh, you know, how to sort it out properly, um, right? So why is this thing this thing? So let's get to that. So it builds on what we've just done, which is the taking a function and rewriting it as a um, as a monk talking to me, uh, or it could be my daughter. I'm not sure. I get confused. So uh, <clears throat> equal amounts of wisdom. Let's see, uh, and desire to uh, change the course of things. All right. So let's see. Yeah. The monks are chanting SVD, SVD over there. So I'm going to get this out of the way before we um, get onto that. So this is something we've looked at a little bit, but this kind of form, but this is, a, let's do something different. So we're going to set it to one. So this would be the same as saying, you know, here's some function um, that we've had before. Let's draw a little character here. So you know, it's, it's a um, global minimum story right we can see this from this one until we get we get bigger um, and uh, we're really taking this slice right we're taking some slice so it's exactly this idea we're setting it to one so if we imagine this is you know, x1 x2 and this is um, one this could be our function f and then we're taking this slice one. Okay, so does that make the idea? So take a contour line, right? Slice at f equals one. What does it look like? Yeah, chop through this thing. All right. So we know it's going up like parabolically, right? But it's probably stretching in different ways. So it's going to be a, an ellipse. And then there's an issue of how it's oriented. And that's what this says here. So we're going to turn into a matrix problem, right? So again, the two goes to here. We're going to split this two into two parts. And this two goes to here, right? When we multiply through the x2 squared, it's going to pick up that two there. The x1, x2 cross term is going to pick up both of these and add them together. And the x1 squared is just going to pick up this and put it here. All twos, so it looks a little confusing. All right, we know it's a symmetric matrix. Now, instead of using uh, LU, which we were just doing before, LDL transpose, we're going to use our magic friend. All right, one of our magic friends. We have lots of magic friends now. You can call them magic friends. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure there's some people on Reddit who speak in this way, <laughs> which makes it okay. Um, boom, right? We've got it. A little bit of calculation there. So this is our Q. Here are our eigenvectors uh, with the normalization sitting at the front. And because of magicness, here is the transpose, right? So this is uh, V1 hat and V2 hat. In, you know, and I mean, including this piece, right? And then this is V1 transpose, and this is V2 transpose. Transpose, this is lambda 1, and lambda 2. Delicious. Okay, delicious. So we're going to do the same thing as we just did in the previous piece. Uh, we're going to change variables, right? So we'll change variables. So Y is going to be this this whole blob here, right? This all this blob here, this will become y, right? So y is q transpose x, and it's true over here as well. It's just being flipped around. So y transpose is q transpose x transpose. Same thing. So now we have uh, y transpose lambda. This is a simple story again. So y. This is y transpose, lambda is still the same thing, 
and y. So now we have a very simple little form here, and we can just multiply through. So we'll get 3 times y1 squared plus, right, so there's the 3, is here, the 1 goes here, y2 squared equals 1. So this is a very simple, so this is a clearly an ellipse, right? So clearly an ellipse. Right, this is the standard form for an ellipse, but the y-axis, the y-axes, y1 and y2, they've been moved around. So we need to understand where they are. So what's this new coordinate system? Right, we just wrote it down. It's y1, y2 is q transpose x1, x2. So if we just multiply that out, uh, we've got y1. Right, so y1 is 1 over root 2 times x1 plus x2. y2 is minus x1 plus x2. So we could think of how to how this works uh, but more powerfully right we're going to see q as this is the this is the better thing right we see it is a it is a basis transformation it's exactly what's going on right so this is the this is this is best and the new these are our new um, basis vectors, right? So this is V1, and this is V2, expressed in a standard basis. So let's draw them, right? So this is V1 is in this direction. V1 equals one over root two, one, one. And then V2 is in this direction. You want, that should be green. Go away. It's enough red on this one. So this is V1, new basis. 1, 1, and this is V1, oh sorry, V2 equals 1 over root 2, yep, minus 1, 1. And it has the right, it's a, it's a right-handed um, system, right? Mm -hmm. right so X1, um, X2, and then V1, V2. So that's why we chose them in that, why, why? chose them in that direction so that's that vector and if we so we set these axes up 1 1 and minus 1 1 right so 45 degree um, stories or if you like pi over 4 this is pi over 4 and this part here is pi over 2 right angles of course they are guaranteed to be right angles Did I get that right it's guaranteed to be right angles because A is symmetric, because we made A symmetric. So a couple of statements here, right? So we're rotating, we're, if you like, you can think of rotating. We're, we're changing the way we view things. It's a better, it is the right basis, the right basis. And this equation is very simple here. So 3y1 squared plus y2 squared equals 1. So when y2 is 0, right along this line, then y1 is 1 over third, 1 over square root of 3, plus or minus 1 over the square root of 3. When y2 is 0, this line, then we have the, the major axes and um, semi-major axis, which is the minus 1, 1. Okay, and then, yeah, and then it's an ellipse, right? Whoop. Whoop. Beautiful. Um, and in general, we could have footballs, hyper ellipses, and so on. So that's this story here. And the length of each, um, right? So the axes will be one over the square root of lambda for that particular basis vector. So this is turning a right, nice little algebraic structure here, turning into a matrix story, seeing a transformation of basis sitting there and everything working out for us, right? So good thing. On we go.